Hey, good morning, everybody. This is Pastor JC jumping into your world this morning. I hope that life is treating you grand today. I hope that you are living your fullest, best existence on this planet today. I know God has been good to me. God has been good to you. And as I was thinking about everything that the Lord did yesterday, I'm sometimes I am simply just amazed at how incredible our God is. We had a fantastic church service at Crossroads yesterday from the very beginning, from the get-go, from the call to worship to the to the final amen. Everything was absolutely just drenched in the anointing and the Spirit of God. And I'm so thankful for His presence there. And we had, we had several new folks with us. And if they happen to be watching this video, thank you for being with us. Thank you for coming and worshiping with us. If there's anything our church can do for you, you let us know. We're here. We want to serve you. We want to love you. We want to bless you. And uh, I was thinking about yesterday and thinking about the, the plan and the goal for our church and where Crossroads is heading and everything that God is doing. And the scripture just keeps coming to my mind in Mark chapter 16, verse 15, where Jesus said, go into all the world and preach the gospel. Go, go, go. See, a lot of times it's not about coming into the four walls of the church. It's about getting out into the world and being the church. God has a plan. God has a purpose for the body of Christ in this world today. And it's time for the body of Christ to rise up into that calling and to begin function, functioning in that anointing and watching as God sets people free. As God brings deliverance from things in people's lives, whether it's addictions or whether it's lifestyles or whatever it is, it's time for the body of Christ to step up into our calling and our anointing. And, and you know, one of the greatest things that we can do is to go into all the world and preach the gospel. And, and hear me out on this. Sometimes preaching the gospel looks like God opening a door and you speaking to someone and telling them the gospel of Jesus Christ or sharing your testimony of what Christ has done in your life. At other times, going into all the world and preaching the gospel might be that somebody knows that you're a Christian and they simply come up to you and ask you to pray for them or pray for a prayer request. And in that moment, you stop, you take their hands and you pray in that moment for the need in their life. Sometimes preaching the gospel, going into all the world and preaching the gospel is simply living a life that is holy and righteous and filled with integrity and people watching how you live your life. Sometimes the greatest sermon is not in what we say, but in what we do. Go into all the world and preach the gospel. Sometimes people are going to know there's something different about you, not because you're quoting scripture, but because you're not falling apart when the storms of your life are raging. Sometimes people are going to know you're a Christian simply because you hold your tongue and you speak in peace in a very conflicted and, and fiery moment. Sometimes people are going to know and hear the sermon of your life simply because they've watched as life has tried to break you and you have moved in the power and the strength of the Holy Spirit. You see, going into all the world and preaching the gospel can take different facets of our lives. And I just want to encourage you today, go, go, go into your world. Whether you're going to work today, whether you're on the job, whether you're going to be shopping in the store for groceries, whether you're going to, to the dry cleaners, wherever you may go, go and preach the gospel by what you say and how you live. It's important because when we go in the power and the anointing of the Holy Spirit, as I told the church yesterday, with every step that we take on this earth, we shake the powers of hell because of the anointing of God that's on our lives. So today I want to encourage you. Go into your world. Effect change in your world by the way you live your life and by the things you say and by the things you do. Church, we've got to be the church in the world today. We've got to be the church, not the church that's struggling and trying to just get by, but we've got to be the church triumphant if we're going to go and we're going to open prison doors 
and we're going to break chains in Jesus name. I love you today. I'm praying for you. May God bless you as you go, go, go into your world. Take care of yourselves. God bless.